Hi, I want to thank you for turning out today for sell 100 orders per month. Yes, selling 100 orders a month is possible, and a lot of distributors do it, but most distributors don't. But I want to first thank you for listening today and take a look at all of the great suppliers shown on the screen because they're the ones who make these webinars possible. And I want you to know that any supplier that I talk to or talk about in this webinar is someone or one that I would vouch for. So with that said, let's take some notes. I've got some valuable email addresses and offers that are gonna be shown during the program that I think you should take advantage of that will help you on your quest to sell 100 orders per month. Among those, Alexis Springs, the best bottled water company in the industry, Burla Camp. I've known Ken Burla Camp for a very long time, 35 years. That's an American made company. And Pepco, there's a free screen charge from Pepco. All three of these suppliers are American made and there are no virus problems with any of them. A little bit about me, I've been in the promotional products business for quite a number of years. The thing that I'm most proud of is I actually did this to make money. A lot of distributors just sell despite customers or not customers, other distributors, but we've averaged over 43% profit on our orders and over 35 years of being in the industry. There's my distributor card at the bottom of the screen for Don Sanders Marketing and my sellpromoproducts.com card. And obviously that is me with my shiny bald head. Now selling 100 orders monthly, you have to do that or you do that by dedicating yourself to the procedure, to the practice, to the way you do it. Most distributors cannot do so because they demand things be their way and it just doesn't work like that. You can't come into this industry or be in the industry and find a better way to do it because there are only certain ways that you sell promotional products and distributors who sell those under orders a month, they are not part-timers. They don't expect everything for free. Pay for your samples, pay for shipping, pay your supplier invoices promptly. You've got to be willing to change. You can't argue with the suppliers. If something goes wrong with an order, just don't go wild. Just don't buy from that supplier again and move on and never sell on price. Price selling is a disaster. Be open-minded. Never let these chat sites affect you. I see distributors get on these sites and they just go on and on and on where they should be looking for customers and be a great qualifier. Never try and sell people that are not gonna buy anything from you or are bad prospects. And ask yourself, can you do these things? Because you're gonna to have to if you're gonna sell 100 orders per month. And 3M is showing on the screen right there. They have the greatest self-promotion in the world. You get for $75 a quantity of 250 50 calendar notepads that are six by eight. And I'm gonna show the address or the email address where you can get the pads at the end of the presentation. Less than 20% of distributors sell 100 orders each month. Look at all those percentages on the screen, five, 10, 15, 20. You're not gonna go over 20% on selling 100 orders unless you do what you need to do. That means you've gotta change the way you do business. Can you do that? But look at that great free screen charge there from Trainter Graphics. I've got a lot of nice coupons to show through the uh, session, so please bear with me with them. Now you've got to maintain standards to sell orders. A lot of distributors just get out here and they just do anything they want to sell orders. They have no standards. They do something different every day. But the standards that I've always lived by is having a strong brand presence, having a strong belief system, never be intimidated by customers, walk away from bad orders, eliminate bad customers, ones that don't pay, ones that are a little bit hard to deal with. And on the other side of the thing, avoid suspect suppliers. And I am telling you, there are a lot of them in this industry. So what are your standards? You've got to have them if you're gonna sell a bunch of orders. And I've got two great offers here, one from Burla Camp. I mentioned Ken Burla Camp before and Logo Mats, which is a great out, outdoor and indoor mat company. 
is offering 5% off an order. Now, awesome clients are what you need to have. Don't sell poor, average, good, maybe some excellent, but strive to sell awesome clients. That's the way you sell 100 orders a month. It's as easy as that. If you have awesome clients, you can sell 100 orders a week if you had enough of them, but let's just focus on trying to sell 100 a month. Awesome customers are never cheap. They're always loyal. Prompt payers, they don't dog you on payment. They're good communicators. They want to place an order. They get with the information, tell you what they need, send you the artwork. They don't tell you to wait. They'll have it another day, et cetera, et cetera. And that means you never approach bad prospects because if you do, you will fail. Awesome customers are the answer to selling a lot of orders. And there is that Logo Max coupon, great free die charge from Quickie. This is an American made company that is terrific. There's Alexis Springs again, Pepco, and there's a $20 off a coupon on a quick ship order from Sunjoy. You find awesome and customers when networking by qualifying. Don't go to a networking event and just chat people up, talk to them about sports, your family, religion. Go there looking for customers. The way you do that, you set a number of con con conversations that you would like to make. You approach people, you talk to them. First thing you do is you find out if they're decision makers. The way you do that is you ask them what they do at their company. If they say they're a plumber, say, or do you own the plumbing company? If they say, no, I'm just a plumber, you just politely walk away. You're not rude, but you say you have to go talk to somebody else. And after you find that plumber who owns the plumbing, the plumbing company, you go and follow up with them and see if they're interested. And if you ask somebody that says they can put you in touch with the owner, avoid them. They're just making that up to get rid of you. Get to the point, find out the facts. That's how you qualify when networking. And I want you to look at my mat right out in front of that door with my shoes on it, my Don Sanders marketing logo. I have a mat made like that from Logo Mats, and I have taken that to chamber events and stood on my mat in the center of a room and you talk about being an attention getter people will come up to you and look at you like what are you doing but that's exactly what i want i get the attention by standing on my logo mat now always show your abilities you separate yourself from bad distributors by proving that you've been doing this for a period of time or you deliver in the crunch. I have testimonial marketing sheets like the one you're seeing on the screen that I email to prospects. I have these printed on cards that I will hand to people at a networking event that shows some interest, that shows that I know what I'm doing. These are easy to make up. You can always get testimonials from your good customers. Just ask them. I, I use some quotes, I don't even ask them. I, people have told me this on the phone or on emails. So I tell people that I don't know that I am someone to deal with. I am not a rookie. I'm not a part-timer. I know what I'm doing. And that's the same thing you should do. Now let's talk about a specialized self promo for selling special markets. AdMatch has just come out with a refreshment towel. This is the time of year to be selling these things. This towel is inside uh, the package. When you take it out, it can be moistened or it is moistened and it will clean you up and it is great for gyms, yoga sessions, construction areas, realtor gifts, Uber Lyft drivers. You can sell these to marathons, golf tournaments, outdoor activities, charity runs, reunions, anything that has anything to do with exercise or outdoor activities is great for this as an item for their event. And you can get these on a self promo special. You can email Phil at admatch.com and Phil will send you a sample. And there's a 5% off a self promo order they're showing on the ad for the refreshment towel. Just a great item when you want to specialize. Two other great self promos I've got from Admatch are wet wipes and what we would call Kleenex or pocket pocket sized powder cleaners. Now, what we're going to do with these is specialize them with our logo. There are my Don Sanders marketing uh, logos on both of these. 
you can get a great deal. And if you'll go up to people at a networking event, pull one of these out and just ask someone, hey, why don't we buy a, get, why don't we get some of these for you? For you, be direct and ask prospects, how many do you need? And in the center, you can see the ones that I did last holiday season, where I have my picture with Santa from a long time ago. I did some of these and sent these out to my customers during the holidays just to show them that I was doing something a little different. Phil at adMatch.com can help you with these. Now, volunteering during elections is a great networking opportunity. I know people are always looking for how to network. Well, you network where you meet like-minded people. Besides volunteering for elections, you can find like-minded people at alumni associations, neighborhood events, nonprofit fundraisers, being a volunteer, oh my goodness, at tailgating parties. You go to a tailgating event at your high school or college football program and you'll meet like-minded people and you'll meet a lot of them at reunions. And the one thing about the elections I want to point out is a lot of people don't know that you can only buy one sticker from Sticker U. It's a new supplier, but it's a supplier I met last year. They do one sticker, one sticker only. And the I Voted sticker, which a lot of y'all get when you go vote, it came out as a way to get people to vote or to be proud that they did. And if you wore the stickers in a business, when in a restaurant, you got a discount. That's how I voted stickers started. And remember, you can get a sample kit from Michael at stickeru.com. Now let's talk about protecting yourself or ourselves from junk sellers, and they are everywhere. You see that guy right there on the screen? That is a promotional product salesperson that will sell you anything. And unfortunately, 60% of distributors don't care who or what they sell. And two products that will really foul you up if you sell them as junk products would be cheap umbrellas and bad tasting water. And I'm going to tell you why. I know you've lost deals on umbrellas because somebody says, well, I can get them cheaper. Well, you can always get something cheaper. That guy with the cigar, he'll sell you something cheap. And there are people that are always looking for cheaper water. But let's talk about the ramifications of selling cheap umbrellas. They're the junk seller's dream because they can outsell you just on price. But I bet you didn't know that umbrellas have 70 working parts, that the inexpensive versions use steel ribs, which are unflexible. That means these things are not windproof. They blow up easily. They turn backwards, just like that umbrella is doing on the screen. And they're not golf umbrellas unless they have fiberglass or wood shafts. The ones with metal shafts, you can't take them out in the rain because you get electrocuted. And the frames are not attached to the umbrella fabric securely. This is what happens with cheap umbrellas. Next time you run into a deal where somebody says, well, I can get them cheaper, there's a little information for you to come back and say, well, you know what? That might be cheaper, but do you want these things to happen to your customers? Obviously not. You can get umbrella samples from Southern Plus. It's my favorite umbrella supplier. There's their logo on the screen with a 5% off of an order uh, offer. Kathy at Southern Plus dot com can help you with that southern plus also does all kinds of tailgating items but for this little part of our presentation i'm focusing on umbrellas i believe rain kiss just went out of business which was an umbrella supplier so if you've been looking for somebody new i wouldn't i would recommend southern plus they've won all kinds of awards for technology quality they have great products and this is a company that will never let you down now let's tell about how cheap products can kill you. The city of Flint, Michigan, this was two or three years ago where this came out, where the lead pipes were faulty, they were old, and a lot of children that have drank in this water or drank this water are going to end up with lead poisoning. Now the point of this being is I'm gonna to talk to you about the differences in bottled water, which is oh so important. I know you lose orders because somebody will say, well, I can get it cheaper. Well, there is no doubt about it. There is a big difference in bottled water. 
And let me tell you about the difference in bottled water. Some is purified and some is spring water. But purified water comes from city municipal water sources. That means they went through city pipes, they've been in rivers, they've been in lakes, and look what happened two miles from me. Putrid liquid was pouring into the Trinity River. Now, eventually that water is gonna end up in a water treatment plant. I don't want anything to do with that kind of water around my customers. And you have to remember that most city water pipes are more than 100 years old. Three days ago, I, this came out, Fort Lauderdale, their aging water pipes unleash raw sewage in Fort Lauderdale, even into the streets of Fort Lauderdale. This is a big mess. You do not want to be selling water to your customers that had anything to do with a city water system. This has been happening for a long time and it's gonna be a while before this is handled. Now facts, the facts that I just told you are the ones that will stop distributors who try to sell lower cost water than what you're offering. Alexis Springs is absolutely the best water supplier in the industry. Their water comes out of Mount Ida, Arkansas, off of a natural spring. So it goes into these little wooden houses here. That's where the water bubbles up, goes underground into pipes in these stainless steel tanks, then goes into the facility and is bottled there. It is bottled less than 400 feet from where it comes out of the ground. Now. I would rather have that water, spring water, in my bottles and the sewer water you're seeing up there. And there's one of those water treatment plants we talked about, average age, 47 years. Now tell clients the difference in bottled water. Junk sellers will not because they don't care. There's a difference in purified water, which comes from a treatment plant. It is clean, it will not kill you, but my goodness, can you imagine how bad it tastes? Where spring water is natural, it comes out of the ground, it has never been through a water pipeline, it has not been trucked, it has not been in a treatment plant, and spring water is natural, it is filtered also, but has a much more refreshing taste. Now, when you get into a jam with people on water, Tell them these facts. Do you want purified or you want spring? If they said, I want purified, I wouldn't call on that person. I'm looking for those awesome clients that would be wanting spring water. And there's a great skip a call coupon from Alexis Springs on the screen right now. Now, Alexis Springs, I'm talking a lot about them, but it's a great supplier. They have seven shipping locations. So they are convenient or they can get water to you no matter where you are in the country. There's that skip a column uh, coupon again and a valuable selling point that purified water suppliers cannot make. They cannot put natural water, low mineral content, any of these slogans that you're seeing on the screen on their labels. And I'm gonna tell you a couple of instances later where I have gotten new water accounts because customers, awesome customers, want that kind of information on their labels and you can get samples from brian at alexissprings.com now here are two non-junk suppliers we've been talking about junk distributor sellers these are two suppliers that i would recommend logo mats and quickie these are american-made companies they're not having any delivery problems they're not having any tariff problems they're not having any virus problems. These are companies in America that deliver and are not affected by all these maladies that go on in the world today. You can get catalogs or samples from Miles at LogomatsLLC.com or M. Stiller, Mike Stiller at Quickie.com. Now, referrals must be 35% of your business if you're going to sell 100 orders a month. A lot of people would be happy with 15 to 20% referrals. But back in the day when I sold a lot of promotional products, we had referrals 35% of the time. Now, <coughs> excuse me, you get those by providing great service, praising your customers, <coughs> contacting awful, often being personal, 
offering ideas. How many times do you do that? Most distributors receive few referrals. <clears throat> You've got to motivate customers to work for you. And that's by word of mouth advertising. So get up to the level of 35% of your business by referrals. And that will be the way that you can be on the road to selling 100 orders a month. And there's a great, excuse me, call it <coughs> free setup charge from Pepco. Now I use social media a lot. I let Facebook help me with orders. I post these pictures on my Facebook account because I want people to ask me about them. I was at the ASI show in Fort Worth last year, posing with a bull. There I am below with Joe Fina at Davara, who I'm going to talk to in a minute. It has a great new product called a triple banger bottle opener. There are my three sweet dogs. And there I am in Las Vegas with the world famous Wayne Newton. I post these pictures on my Facebook account because I want people to ask me about them. That's how you connect. Another way to get good business is to post videos on social, me email, social media and email the links to your customers. Now, Southern Plus has 87 different product videos on their website. You can go to their site. Here are six examples on the screen right now. They're brief videos that you can send the links to your customers and get them to watch you. And this will help you make the sale and get you to your 100 orders. These are really cool little videos to post on your social media or email to your clients, and you can get those at southernplus.com. Please know, I'm not gonna mention any supplier during this webinar that I would not totally recommend. Now, you can post facts on LinkedIn too, and on Facebook, and one way that I've gotten some nice orders is telling people about mats. A lot of people don't know the functions of mats. They don't know that they keep floors clean. They obviously, you could think that, but they don't know the facts behind what happens with dirty mats, slips and falls, hazards because of inferior mats. I've posted this before and have actually gotten mat orders from Logo Mat. And if you'd like to have a Logo Mat sample kit, all you have to do is fill out the form that you're seeing right there. I'm going to give you the address from Miles Wadsworth, who you would contact at Logo Max at the end of the presentation. But posting facts on LinkedIn will get you business. Here's the one I did on Facebook where I, I posted the dirty facts about mats. My bank is Grand Bank of Texas. <clears throat> they have a rental mat program. And I started posting my uh, information about bad mats on my Facebook account. And the guy that's president of that bank actually saw it and said, Don, are you making that up? Is that true? And I said, it is true. And that got me this order for 24 mats from Grand Bank of Texas. I sold those mats for $240 a piece on an A. So I made up what, 120 bucks a mat and I sold a good amount of them. That was a nice order. And the great thing about logo mats is they will put your name on the back of the mats. Like it says right there, Grand Bank of Texas by Don Sanders Marketing. I also got an order from that, but somebody went into bank and they uh, were nosy and just opened, uh, turned the mat over and they called me and said, are you the one who did those mats for Logo for Grand Bank? I, I, I'm not making that up. And you can get samples from M. Wadsworth at LogoMatsLLC.com. And there's a great 5% off an order coupon on the screen. Now you can post studies on LinkedIn about the mats. You can also talk about the uh, videos I showed for you about Southern Plus. And when you do LinkedIn endorsements or LinkedIn posting, tout endorsements, make big headlines, brief summaries, and make it a habit. That means you do it all the time. That means be grandiose. Say, let me save you money. Let me make you safer, like with the mats. Let me show your athletic promotion how to be successful. That would be something you'd use with the Southern Plus videos. If you will do this on LinkedIn, you will get some good business. And I've got two great coupons on the screen right now, one from AdMatch. I talked to them earlier about the refreshment towels and the Kleenex, Kleenex and the wet wipes and Gympire, which I'm gonna talk about later in this presentation. Harvey Mackler owns that supplier and he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Now, if you need help with company stores, 
Tiffany Tarr is my friend with Distributor Central. She will do a demo for you, ttar at distributorcentral.com. I put this in as a slide because people have asked me, Don, who do you use for company stores? I've known Tiffany for 10 years and I completely trust her. And of all these service providers, Distributor Central is the one that I would recommend. Now, if you are looking to be a low cost seller, stop watching the webinar right now. You should not worry about getting EQP pricing or beating suppliers up on price. Take the time that you're beating a supplier up trying to get a better deal and look from awesome customers. Because if you're selling by price, the distributors that do always fail. You'll get some orders originally, but you cannot sell 100 orders a month if you are selling by price because there's somebody that's going to come along that's going to be cheaper than you. Forget about EQP pricing and spending the time beating up suppliers and look for those awesome clients. Now, events create buying urgency. A lot of events are coming up here in the spring and on April 22nd, Earth Day is coming up. I've sold a lot of Earth Day products and you don't know that, but this is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And I mentioned Harvey Mackler at Jim Pyre before. He has great seed paper products, which would be just so suitable for Earth Day. He's got note cards, he's got posters, he's got business cards, he has bookmarks. He has all types of Earth Day products. These seed paper samples are just terrific. You can email Harvey at Jimpire, Harvey at jimpire.com, and he will send you some great. Earth Day samples, and there is that coupon again for Jim Pyre. Now, another way to make big money or sell these orders is to sell events and celebrations. I help Pepco with their marketing. I'm being honest with you about that, and I'm pitching them because they have the coolest hats for any event. Foam hats and visors, Particularly, we're talking about St. Patrick's Day coming up. There's a St. Patrick's Day hat. How cool is that? Looks kind of funny, but I guarantee you bars, restaurants, parades, people would love to have one of those. And there's a great free setup from Pepco. But you can also sell Pepco foam hats for Happy New Year, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Awareness Month. That's not till next October, but that cute little pink hat would be really neat at runs and walks. And you can get a St. Patrick's Day hat sample from C. Victorin at pepcopalms.com. That email address will be shown at the end of the presentation. Golf season's coming. I'm only pitching you these products because they're germane to the seasons. This is a great little product for the golf season. For charity tournaments, country clubs, courses, it is a ball marker. Now, isn't that neat the way that shows up? That would be something that any golfer would love to have. And you can get a sample of that or any of the golf accessories you're seeing on the screen from Harvey at jimpire.com. And there are his industry identifiers at the bottom of the screen. Another thing that Jim Pyre has are some creative self promos themselves. They have seed paper business cards. I'm going to talk to you about branding and changing your logo and being different. And one of the ways to be different is to have a seed paper card. You can seed paper self promo cards again from Harvey at jimpire.com. And Counselor Magazine says it's 70% of distributors don't use creative self promos, which is just crazy to me because if you want to stand out, you will be different. And I think these seed paper cards are so cool. We're back on Southern Plus again. <laughs> I promise you this is the last time. Now I'm talking about tailgating. Tailgating has taken on a life of its own. So when the fall comes up or baseball season's about to come about, if you're a Houston Astros fan, oh my goodness, you're going to be in trouble. If the Astros come to your town and you want to go out and boo them, wouldn't that be great tailgating conversation? Remember, I said tailgating is a great networking opportunity too. There is Southern Plus. There's their phone numbers at the end of the presentation. 
<clears throat> I will have their email to request samples. Now, I want to talk to you about your brand needs to always be fresh. Some distributors have never sell, changed their logo ever. I've changed mine about 10 times since I've been in the industry. And the reason I do that, it gives me a chance to have a little bit different look, rebrand my marketing, and I can reconnect with customers by saying, I just want to let you know I've got a new logo. You can see my original <coughs> DS, Don Sanders Marketing Concept logo. That was from about 20 years ago. My drive-in movie theater screen right there, that was our logo 10 years ago where we out we said that we featured outstanding service and today my logo has to do with these colorful shoes that i wear when i go to work trade shows i have branded myself with colorful shoes if you've seen me at a show i started wearing these to get attention and i am telling you people ask me about them all the time and it has gotten me more business branding myself with shoes so there's three ways that i have built my personal brand and you need to keep your brand fresh as well. I brand bottles for my own promotion. They're in the center of the screen. I am showing you some bottles. Like I did the tissue packs with my Santa picture when I was younger. Here are a couple of more Santa pictures. My mother never threw any of these away. I think they were made at Leonard's department store every year from when I was certain age to some age. But I have branded bottles with my Santa, with Santa and me, gave those away back in October, November, December. But my regular bottles there with my Don Sanders marketing and with the shoes are shown, at, as you can see them right now. If you want self-promotion bottles, it's Brian at AlexaSprings.com. He will help you get self-promotion bottles. And we're just going to start getting hot soon. And who would you, well, if you call them somebody, don't you think they would rather have a bottle of water with your information on it than a cheap business card? I know that I would. Now, here's where knowledge and quality stole an account. If you're going to sell 100 orders a month, you've got to take competitors' business all the time. And the way you do that is know about the products you sell because a lot of the competitors you deal with, they have no clue. Now, this is Grand Bank that I sold the mats to, but if you'll look carefully, it says on that screen, purified water by reverse osmosis and oxygenated for ta taste and purity. That means that water came from a water treatment plant and then through a water pipe a hundred years old. I pointed that out and I said, you can't be giving that water to your customers. So look at the label of their water now. We cherish your health. So the water included is the finest quality. That's how I stole this account, by pointing out that the water that they were giving away was not good. And Alexa Springs, there's their 800 phone number on the coupon. At the end of the show, I will have Brian Fitzner's email address who you would contact. How about bottled water as business cards? I talked to you about self-promotion bottles. How about calling on car dealers? We all know car dealers buy bottled water. But how about Akeem at the Infinity Dealer? If he was, if you walked around his lot, wouldn't you think that you will? No, I'm not going to say wouldn't you think. I would rather have him walk up to me and give me his bottle with his card on it than hand me some flimsy card. What a cool thing that is for car dealers. You get those from Alexa Springs. There's their industry identifiers at the bottom left. Just wanted to point that out. Water or paper card? Which would you rather have? Now, here's another self promo that I use from Drumline. It has my shoes on the front, like you can see, the same things on the back, but each page says Don Sanders Marketing. I meet somebody at one of those networking events. I will give them my Kleenex. I will give them my wet wipes. I will give them a bottle of water, whatever I've got, but I've had a great deal of success with these jotters and the reason being is drumline offers them you can get the self promo on this from gaddison gina addison at drum line.com and look at the things you can put on the back you tell prospects what you do just like i was telling you on testimonial marketing you could have your website your services offered your address photos slogans you name it i won't go through all of them but you could turn around to the customer hand them one of these right on the first piece of paper where you met them and say, you know what? We do all these things. We're a full service marketing provider. 
Contact Drumline about this, Gaddison at drum-line.com. And here's where one creates customers. I have got huge customers by selling one. I sold Grand Bank one mat. I ended up selling, what, 30 mats to Grand Bank? But one was the original sale. Those are for mats. But Sticker U, I met them a year ago at the ASI show in Chicago. They do one sticker. I have gotten customers from selling one sticker, one tattoo, one sticker, one poor decal. StickerU.com is where you go for the one sticker and logo mats for the one mat. Now, here's another deal right here that I got. I sold one mat to match Macho Storage. So this one-off selling, I'm trying to prove a point. I sold them one. Well, they had nine warehouses. So there were three mats for warehouse. So after selling them one, I sold them three for the other nine. That is 27 mats I sold to Macho Storage. Again, mat sample. M. Wadsworth at LogoMats, LLC dot com and there's that great little five percent off an order coupon now does your supplier we're going to get into safety and viruses now and i'm going to start off with safety first too many junk suppliers are junk suppliers there are junk distributors but there are junk suppliers that will sell you anything and power banks are in trouble all the time so the way that i sell sell I pitch power banks as being safe, the ones that I sell. And I sell those from Sunjoy. I'm being biased here, but I know Sunjoy well. They test their power banks in an individual facility, and other suppliers do not do this. That's why there's such a problem with chargers and power banks, because Sunjoy actually tests those theirs where other suppliers do not. Now, six or seven months ago, I got this where this company, Spectre and Company, had to recall 4,500 power banks. Now, can you imagine the mess you would have if you had to go out to your customer and say, you know what? Oops, those power banks I sold you, I got to have them back. Man, I'm telling you, if, that was, if I was a customer, I would never want to see you again. This happened six months ago. And I saw this last month, it's happened again, that this company right here, Poly Concept, I'm not ragging on them, I just get these out of the news publications, they had to recall 5,000 power banks. My God, how many, or my gosh, how many people got in a jam or having to go out and say, you know what? I gotta have those power banks back. You look at those customers up there at the top of the screen. You want your customers to look like that? That's exactly what's going to happen to you by selling bad electronics. But Sunjoy is not an electronic junk supplier. They've never had a product recall. I know Harrison Few that owns that company, he's a stand up guy. And here's a great little $20 off a quick ship order from Sunjoy. I would recommend them highly. Now, let's avoid tariff suppliers. I started talking about this eight, nine months ago when these tariffs came up. Oh my goodness, you couldn't even get a set price from suppliers. And here are a couple of things that I pulled off supplier websites. Here's the first one. Prices quoted are based on available inventory on hand. Then there's another one that came out the first week in January that they were gonna hold their prices on what they have and they were gonna have a modest price increase. They can't even tell you what the price is. Avoid tariff suppliers. Those are importers. Don't have your orders on these ships. Use a company like Drumline. I talked to you about the little jotters. They're in Stuttgart, Stuttgart Arkansas. Everything is made there, and there is no tariff problem. You think tariffs are a problem? Look at this coronavirus mess. This is even worse. I got this off Promogram what, nine days ago about how this is affecting the industry, shipments are late, these factories are closed. The way to stop that from happening to you is to buy from American-made suppliers, which I try and do every instance I can. Drum, Cloth Promotions, ID Line, Alexis Springs, Trainter, Burlicamp, Quickie, Pepco, they don't have any viruses. That's how you protect yourself. 
Pepco products are made in Texas. That's a non-virus supplier. I've been down there. There's no viruses in Lane City, Texas, where Pepco products are made. Pepco is a great sports promotion supplier, and they have a great deal right now on stadium cups, 44 cents and 42 cents on an R. Great price, and the great thing about it is, is they come in fluted and smooth. This is American made, no virus, great pricing and quick delivery. Their imprints are great. Now, if you want stadium cup samples, just like the hat samples, or the St. Patrick's Day uh, hat, see Victorian at pepcopalms.com, and she can help you with those cups. Quickie is one of my favorite suppliers. I know Mike Burns that owns Quickie for 35 years. There are no masks being worn up in Akron, Ohio, where Quickie is. All their products are American made. Luggage, bag tags, key tags, magnets, zipper pulls, Quickie is a stand-up supplier. They originally the, uh, invented the quick oil back in 1946 or 48, which is a little plastic purse. You put used to put quarters in them or change. They are an originator in this industry. Mike Stiller, mstiller at quickie.com. He will send you American-made samples, no virus attached. Again. No virus American made products from M. Stiller at quickie.com, and there is a free die charge for quickie. Talking napkins from Trainer, one of the neatest things in the world. If you have events, weddings, uh, charity functions, you can imprint the outside of the mats, but not mats, napkins, but you can also imprint the inside of them with what's going to be served, who's speaking that day. The, functions that the event are going, how, how the functions are going to proceed. Talking napkins, but if you need napkins, foam cups, plastic cups, you can get a complete sample kit from Jamie H at trainergraphics.com. There's a free screen charge, and I placed my first order 35 years ago with Trainer, and there are no masks being worn in this Syracuse, Indiana factory. Don't allow big suppliers to jam up orders. I try and do as much as I can with family, American and medium range suppliers. That's what your orders look like right there in that traffic jam. You're the 50th car back there trying to get your order delivered in three days. It's not gonna happen. There we are with the coronavirus impacting. I got that yesterday. And I am telling you, big suppliers are too deeply embedded with Chinese products. They're always gonna have problems and like Drumline right there in Stuttgart, Arkansas, there's their, their coupon. That's the duck calling capital of America, if you know that. They have the World Duck Calling Contest there every November, but they will not jam your order up. Avoid mega suppliers. I am going on about this. But you can't sell 100 orders a month by being stuck back in the back of the line. And big suppliers have inventory problems. They change their prices. We've talked about that. Their customer service is pretty bad because they have high turnover in personnel and their deliveries are late and you can't get anybody to be accountable. Like Jimpire is a family owned, Harvey Mackler owns that supplier, medium range supplier. He has all these accolades, on time delivery, made in the USA, whatever he has going on there. Just look at it. Who has the better burger? Burger King or the family burger stand? I'm going to go to the family burger stand. They're going to have the better burger. I am looking for the better product. And you know what? A mega supplier owner is not going to call you on the phone. You can call Harvey Mackler at 813-902-2691. He'll talk to you and other owners, these big suppliers. They don't even care who you are. But Harvey will give you ideas. I'm going on about this too much but avoid these mega suppliers. Use people like Burlicamp, it's a family supplier. I have known them forever. This top left-hand photo up here, that's about 1950 at a room show, I believe in Chicago. The photo in the middle, I believe that's Ken Burlicamp's father and his mother. Below the photo at the top left is Ken working a trade show, good grief. I don't know how long ago that was, but in the middle photo at the bottom, there's Ken getting older, working for the family company. And here at the bottom right is Ken today, and there's a free money coupon from Burlicamp. This is a family supplier that has no virus. It has no tariff problems. These are the people you need to buy from. 
Now, as soon as known, eliminate prospects and customers who shop around, slow pay you, ignore calls and emails, beat you down on the price, or are big or difficult. Sell easy, not the hard way. When you find a bad customer, bad prospect, just get rid of them. And are you losing orders? Matt Rental or Matt orders to rental companies. That order that I got from uh, Worth National Bank, I showed you, they were renting mats at $55, $60 a month for these nasty mats. And not only did I get that business from the fact that I told them about the safety figure features of the mats on Facebook, I got them off these rental mats because the mats that I sold from Logo Mats, they last almost forever and they come out in the long run cheaper. So post this information about these myths of mats. Tell that to your customers and you can sell mats and beat these rental companies. Knowledge sells mats. There's my 5% off a logo mat coupon. Now I talked to you about Joe Fina. Please bear with me on this product. This is the best of show product from the ASI Orlando show. This is the triple banger bottle opener. Sounds bizarre, doesn't it? But how cool is it for retirement centers? Makes opening bottles and cans easy. Alcoholic beverages are enjoyed by most. Food and beverage companies would love these. Great trade show item. You can attach literature, promotions to it. Colleges, great for alumni associations. Sports marketing because college students love beverages. I know I'm not a college student, but I still love my beverages. This is a brand new product. It is so, so cool. Joe Fina, <clears throat> Jay Fina at Devara.com for a sample. Triple banger bottle openers. Save acrylic nails. Think about it. Look how wonderful that person's nails look. She can't open a bottle with those nails. So I'm saying triple banger bottle opener save acrylic nails. It is a great product for any female oriented business, event or activity. And I took that picture to the left at the ASI Fort Worth show two weeks ago, showing you how the banger works on bottles, cans and on like standard water bottles, which it fits. This is a terrific new fun product. Jay Fina at Devara.com. Email him and he will be happy to send you a sample. Now, Burla Camp again, it is going to be motorcycle season here. Kick pad stands and license plate frames for, for bikes are a hot, hot item. You're selling any bikers or motorcycle people that kick pad stand will keep that. Uh, the stand off the ground and makes the bike stand up better. The biker samples are can be had at sales at burlacamp.com. There's a free money coupon from Burlacamp, and there's a 25% off coupon on your order for kickstand pants. Great item for the biker market. Southern Plus, I've talked to them before. They have all kinds of bags for the exploding fitness market. I work out, it makes me feel better, but I am telling you, Millennials are big bag users. Southern Plus has some great bags. On the left are the ones specifically for the workout market. And on the right are some more fashion oriented bags, the right top, which I think are so cool. You can look at that at southernplus.com. And I talked about those refreshment towels before, but this is a year round event item. You know, it was a great self promotion item. It's the same slide I showed you before. But if you've got programs for safety, if you've got any type of activity, runs or walks, the refreshment towel is just a terrific item. And again, you can get that sample from Phil at admatch.com. Now I'm almost finished the webinar, stay with me. I wanna to talk to you about gamer pads. ID line, who I buy all my name badges from, makes gamer pads. They are mouse pads for people that are serious about games. Brand new product. You can get a sample from Jay Anders at aline.com, Jennifer Anders. IV line is American made, no virus supplier. Gamer pads are brand new and a product you should be showing to your millennial customers. Just like computer tattoos are perfect for the millennial market, 
I did, I got some tattoos. I got 50 horned lizard tattoos. That's why I went to TCU and I gave those to my friends at TCU. And I'm telling you, I ended up selling three sticker orders off of that. Computer tattoos are so hot and sticker you will remember, they'll do just one and you can get samples at michael at stickeru.com. Remember, all you have to buy is one. Here's seed paper coffee wraps from Harvey and Jim Pyre again. This is a great item because people love coffee and for Earth Day or for any other time, the seed paper coffee, co you can show these, be the first one to show them and you'll get orders. There's a coupon and it's harvey at jimpire.com. Now, are you selling lookers or buyers? I just put this in at, at the end of the presentation here because the biggest mistake that I think distributors make is selling inferior prospects. The reason you don't sell 100 orders a month is you're selling bad clients. You need to sell awesome clients, which I've told you about. But look at the this couple in this deli. They're, are they lookers or buyers? Well, they could be either in there, they could be regular customers talking about a reception for their wedding, fixing to place a big order, or that guy could just be in there sampling every piece of cheese they've gotten and walk out. Don't be the one that sits there and gives him every piece of cheese and let him walk out. Qualify. Are they lookers or buyers? You've got to find that out. And you find that out by asking questions. And the wrong way to sell is to try to accommodate bad communicators, non-decision makers, anyone requiring bids. I don't bid. You want to bid? Go someplace else. I offer service and quality and I'll give you a price. That's not what I call a bid and I don't like ID stealers. So qualify up front and do not accommodate these people with these bad habits. Now mailing, I do a lot of mailing. To sell 100 orders a month, you've got to mail considerably, con consistently. 70% of distributors do not employ consistent mailing programs, only 30% do. Jimpire has some great self promo programs Again, Harvey at jimpire.com. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep talking about Harvey. I've just known him for a long time, and he's real smart, and he's really helpful. He he cares about helping you, and just like I do. I mean, we do this we do this to make money, obviously for both of us. But I really care about this industry. It's given back a lot to me, and I and I and I want to help people. But the mail promotions from Harvey are really cool. Southern Plus has got 40 custom flyers on their website. You can go in there and put your logo on these different flyers. There's 40 of them for different products. And like on the umbrella one down here where the white space is, that's where your logo would go. The Ashbury tote, your logo would go up there to the right. You can go on southernplus.com and you can find those. And it's just a great way to promote yourself in mail. And Kathy at southernplus.com is who you would speak with. Now, who washes your car? We're talking about doing business with people that we do business with. Let's go sell water to the people that wash our car. There's so many distributors that buy things from other people, but then they don't call them. That just amazes me. Next time you go to your car wash, ask the manager what they buy. Sell them some bottled water. It goes in their cup holders. Use them at detail shops, auto dealer. Sell who sells you. You want water samples? Brian at alexasprings.com. Now, how many toothbrushes does anyone need? I've been having my teeth worked on. Every time I go to the dentist, they give me another toothbrush. There's the four right there lined up. How many more toothbrushes do I need? I'd rather have the guy give me bottled water instead of that. When you go to your dentist, orthodontist, you're spending big, big money and these other services that you use. Go call on them. You're giving that dentist, orthodontist a lot of money. And I just sold a Susan Holler, she's a cosmetic dentist. I sold her a bunch of water because she was buying what kind of water? Purified water. And she's charging people a fortune over there to have their mouth done. So I told her, I said, you can't give a bad bottle of water to people. She agreed with me and is now doing natural spring water. Make money where you spend money. I talked to you about the car washes. I talked to you about the dentist. All these places, your parents might be in a retirement home, you like to go to a certain diner, you have a loved one in a hospital, your favorite bakery, go talk to them about mats. When you're in there, just say, hey, I saw your mat. It doesn't look very good. 
can I talk to you about a mat? I guarantee you nobody's been in there to sell mats for them in forever. Logo mats is who I would use for mats. Are you trading out with your vet? I've traded out products or services to my vet for 13 years. When you go in there and have your dogs, cats, birds, whatever you got, ask the vet, hey, why don't we do a trade out here? Logo mats has some great pet mat samples. You can get images from him. Wadsworth at LogomatsLLC.com. I am telling you, if you're giving vet money, have that vet give you back money again. And here's another toothbrush thing. I'm showing you Flynn Orthodontist on this because kids are down there and I don't know how much it costs to go to the orthodontist today, but it is a lot. Here's cars again. And here is what my final statement is going to be. You're going to increase your order pipeline by generating referrals, you do that providing excellent service, being responsible with customers and suppliers, expand your customer base with direct mail, follow up consistently, and sell a lot of rush orders because Amazon has made it possible to sell rush orders easily because everybody wants it now, and we've averaged 55% profit on our rush orders and strong supplier relations make rush orders possible because when you want that order done fast, you gotta be paying that supplier. If I pay in three days and you're paying in 60 days, they're gonna do my rush order before you. So strong supplier relations make that possible. Now I've just done a book on selling promotional products with Harvey Mackler at Gympire. There's Harvey's uh, coupon right there. If you'd like to have a copy of this book, if you will send me an email, don at sellpromoproducts.com, I will send you the replay of this presentation and Harvey will send you the chapter of the book. Again, it's don at sellpromoproducts.com. I'm going to let this stay up on the screen just a moment. Here are all the email addresses from everybody I've talked about during the presentation. I've been long-winded. I want to apologize for that and the coughing, but I really appreciate you listening. And remember that triple banger bottle opener from Joe Fina at Navara.com. That is Fina at Navara.com. And that spring water, remember, don't be selling that bad water. That's Brian at alexasprings.com. I want to thank you for listening. And if I can ever help you, please let me know. Thanks.